Hi and welcome back to our course on SOLIDWORKS for Beginners. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to use 3D linear pattern. We chamfered the edges of this part in the last lecture. First, let us create on hole using the hole wizard. Choose this hole option. ANSI metric. Drill size. Let's select 12 millimeters size. And in end condition, select through all. Go to position and select any point where you wish to create the hole. Select OK. We have created a hole running through this body. Now let's see how we can use linear pattern to create multiple copies of this hole. Go to linear pattern and click on the drop down menu. Select the first option. You can directly click on this icon also. In direction 1, you can either select the default axis XYZ or any line. We will select this edge. Then under Features to Pattern, select this hole. The preview shows where the holes will be created. Let's reverse the direction. You have to define the spacing between the holes, let's enter 20 millimeters. This looks like a good distance, the holes are not overlapping. And now select the number of copies you want. You can increase or decrease the number from here. Let's make 5 copies. Make sure they fit into the body. Select OK. So we created 5 holes along the breadth of the body. Now you can either edit this, or go back to linear pattern. Now this time, we will select another direction. Now we can either select one hole, or the previous array from the design tree. You can delete and directly select this hole. Set the distance and the number of copies. Select OK. So this is how we create holes along the length of the body. You can also do both at once. Delete this pattern. Go to Pattern 2 and Edit Feature. Select Direction 2. Adjust the spacing and number of copies. Select OK. See this is how we create multiple holes using a single command. Suppose you don't want holes in some of the places. Go to Edit Feature. Here at the end, there is an option called, Instances to Skip. We can use this to skip any particular position in the array. The positions are shown as pink dots. Select the points to skip, and they will convert to orange.
OK. See how some of the copies have been skipped. So this is how we create multiple holes in the straight direction. In the next lecture, we will learn how to do the same in a circular pattern. Thanks for watching this lecture, see you in the next one.